All right, welcome to Arm Day. First meal of the day, McDonald's again. <laughs> um, I don't condone how I eat. Been currently eating, at least, ever since I've been trying to up the calories. You know how, like, your parents will be like, don't smoke, even though they smoke, or you know someone like that? It's the same thing right now. Don't eat the McDonald's. It's going to give you cancer. But I'm still going to do it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it for the first meal. So, yeah, I'll see you at the next meal. All right, second meal of the day. I, I've been trying the protein shakes at the Dollar Tree a few doors down from the gym. So... They have been getting like new ones in. There's another one named Munchies by LA. And this is the highest hopes that I've had for Dollar Tree uh, protein shakes. So hopefully it's good. This one looks good. All the other ones were dog shit. I wanted to throw up eating them. But uh, yo, also have a Powerade. Gotta get, gotta get the phone. I got a Powerade as well. Calories right there. I'll see you at the next meal. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boys and girls. We gotta change the look today. How you, what you bet did about that Baby shame. face yeah. Lou. Hey. Baby face Lou. Hey, had to do it, you know what I'm saying? Whole Beer was starting to get a little scruffy and I just wanted to restart it, you know what I'm saying? Whole different man. <laughs> we just gotta get the jawline in. Hey, then. that bitch coming in a little bit though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially ever since the 50 pounds are gone. 58. 58 pounds. We'll speak about that. Uh-huh, there's <laughs> extra eight pounds. That matters. Uh-huh, it does, it does. That matters. <laughs> You're like, I fought hard for that eight pounds, man. All right, yeah, the extra but. Eight pounds is the extra eight reps that we hit. I don't know. But. Peace and <laughs> um, Arm day. Arm day. Are we changing anything up? Like, I I think everything we do is pretty solid. You know? If do you want to change anything? One thing, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it should be uh, adding in uh, maybe spider curls. Spider curls instead of preacher curls? But that's what I'm saying. I like the preacher curl. I feel like that was hidden. That's the, that's the mostly arms. the reason we never re really do spider that's what curls. I'm saying. Um, what about the cables? We hit cables like this. They're not long enough for for you. They they are kind of for me. I still can't even go all the way. Damn. All right. Yeah. Then yeah, have let's to just have do. Uh, I don't think we should change that. Yeah, nothing's going to change. So we're just going to start off with the easy bar curl. That's our strength movement. That's where we're getting strong as fuck. Eight-ish reps. Then go on to dumbbells, 12-ish reps, three sets. Go on to save a bicep exercise for last so we can re-get that pump at the end. And then uh, start on triceps. Push down, do you wanna do rope or bar? Heavy weight or contraction? Rope. That, that's, you wanna do so rope? I do rope today, just cause I like, I feel like it hits like fully, like with that little extra band mm -hmm. height. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's like, I really like pushing a lot of weight. It's fun. <laughs> this guy's still egotistic. Yeah, but you can do, me and you are doing more than the whole stack. I know, it is It's fun. cool. But, <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe, but, oh, dude, let's split it. Let's do two sets of uh, the rope. push downs and the two sets of rope, yeah. Or should we do rope first? It, it'd be two and one, so one would only get it. All right, then let's do one of the rope. One rope, two, two regular push downs, yeah. and we should start with the rope. Yeah. So that we can feel it more. Okay, that's that sounds good. Uh, three sets there. Go on to skull crushers. Mm. Skull crushers are one of those things that I feel like is never gonna. That might leave. be one of my favorite words. Yeah, I love it's skull, skull crushers. Yeah. Really yeah. I love that shit. Bro. <laughs> I don't know. I feel so strong whenever I. Mm -hmm. you know, so like, my bad. But um, <laughs> then do you want to do a, the JPG push down the double cable? Or do you want to change that up? That's that's really the things that we change. We always keep our core things in there. Um, the JPG is really good. Mm -hmm. But what's another? I don't know. We could do some dips. We could do. Know, there's plenty of other exercises. I was just, it's mostly just thinking. I like the JPG push down. It's always something I like going. To. The only more beneficial movement potentially would be dips, but we're already doing like some heavy ass weight already. 
So I don't really think we need dips, but dips would be cool. And maybe every once in a while we change uh, something for dips. I don't know. All right, then let's just hit uh, JPL. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit Is that what JPL? Yeah, JPG. JPL. He was a science-based lifter that... <laughs> Saying the speaker now. <laughs> JBL, just making shit up. <laughs> but um, oh. then I mean we got our last bicep exercise. Preacher curl. Preacher curls are always great. Yeah, I said we do that. Uh, I said we force it. Force it. For the photos. For the photos. For the progress photo. <laughs> You can I, you can hit an extra set go, if you want, but I'm gonna stick with three. Extra, a little extra, a little extra, like not like a full set, like you know how we do like 12, 15, like just a little extra, like six to eight. You should speak up. Just a little extra six to eight at the end. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna do it for strictly pump, you should do higher weight and just pump like a whole lot of reps. So like three sets of like actual sets where it's where it's breaking down the muscle, and then one strictly for blood flow. So yeah, that sounds like a good game plan. Let's get it rolling. We can get into the arm day. All right, eight reps, three sets. This is our strength movement where we're trying to get strong for biceps. reps three sets just getting the feeling this is less about strength and more just about feeling the movement properly Something for this that at least works for me. Whenever I'm curling by my side, I don't feel it as much as if my arm is a little bit out like this. Try it out, you'll feel the, the instant strain on the bicep. Just by you holding it like this, you'll feel it. All right, when it comes to curls in general, you probably do not need too heavy of a weight. Like for dumbbells, I probably could curl 50, 60, 75 fucking pounds, but I don't wanna do that. If you feel it properly in the bicep, you won't be able to do 
a lot of reps. I mean, a lot of weight. Like I'm only doing 30 pounds. I'll do 35 sometimes. But it's, I could do more. I'm not going to because the weight really doesn't matter that much at least. We have our strength moving as it is with the easy bar curl. So for this, we're just going lighter weight, just feeling it. set we're gonna be doing a drop set I used to drop set literally every single set for a while and I was just over training so if you're someone like past me who does hella drop sets try to only do like one drop set for exercise maybe you know what I mean like at the end just as a finisher <laughs> Fuck me, bro. All right, a little something for you guys. Whenever you're curling, if you have your wrist straight, well, let me see if your wrist straight, your forearm is taking over a little bit. If you let it rest like that, it takes the forearm out of the equation, making more tension on the bicep. And then once you can't do it anymore like that, that's when you bring it back into play and you become stronger. So just a little something for you to think about whenever doing curls. Especially if you're someone that's like, fuck, my forearms are getting sore as fuck from doing curls. Tilt the wrist. Just let it hang there essentially. It takes all the forearm out of the equation. All right. So couldn't decide between rope push down and straight bar, well not straight bar, but bar push downs because the rope is for the contraction and the feeling, so that we're gonna do one set of that, and then the bar is for moving a lot of weight. And so we're gonna do two sets of that after we do the feeling one, so that we're feeling it properly in our triceps. It's not about moving a lot of weight for the rope. You don't want it too heavy to where you can't feel your triceps. <clears throat> We cannot, you cannot compare me and you. You've been in the week for, I mean, you've been in the gym for a week. That's an easy way to get body dysmorphia. <laughs> Ah. 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 Ah.
Is that what I was originally hitting? Oh. Right? All right, we now have the bar on here so that we can push some heavy ass weight. Got the two extra tens on there because we're pushing some heavy weight. We're not one of those, like people will put the pin in the middle of the stack instead of the bottom so that they can put like 45s on there and shit. You'll see people put like two 45s. We could do that, but don't really want to do that. I don't know, kind of just seems weird. I think it's mostly for space at the bottom. That's why they do it. So that makes sense. Because it's, I can't really put more than the two tens on the bottom. But we're just pushing heavy weight on here. We're gonna get huge ass triceps. I'm about to pass out. All right, we only got one extra 10 on there doing oh no only 10 more pounds added to the stack i'm so weak <laughs> I'm gonna drop set that. Skull crushers. Is that shit on? It is on. So, how we're gonna be doing this? Do not do skull crushers like everyone else, where you just bring it straight down to the forehead. Hey, is this 12 or 8? It's 12. Yeah, 12. Then, so instead of bringing it down to the forehead, we're bringing it behind the head and going to here. After we can't do any more, we bring it over here and we start pressing it. It's just a little way to burn out the triceps afterwards. <sighs> Yes, 
sir. JPG push downs. I don't know what it's actually called. I keep saying I'm gonna figure out what it's called, but I never do. Sorry that I'm lazy. <laughs> but I call it the JPG push down because it was popularized by the science based lifter, JPG. You might have saw him on TikTok like a year and a half ago or whatever. I don't know if he's still relevant. I haven't, I don't really use TikTok that much. But uh, yeah, I call it that because that's what he, he popularized it. So, I guess you could call it double cable crossover fucking push down, whatever. But, either way, we're going to have our arms aligned with the cables. And then, just bend at the elbow. That's it. Nice and, mm, just going for the contraction. Mm. Trying to get this shit done. Right, last bicep exercise for the whole workout. Preacher curl. Reason we're doing preacher curl. Whenever we do easy bar curls, dumbbell curls, shit like that, we're only fighting gravity with the free weights. While this on the machine, it's a constant tension the entire time. So I like throwing this in at the end, just for a little finisher, essentially. Either this or a cable curl, either or. 
Get you one more. Get you one more. Get you one more. Get you one more. Yes, sir. <laughs> Doesn't at least look. It's all mental, bro. I need a little. Need this go down a little bit. I got uh. Just hop in right after me. I got right after him. Then we got, uh... I've been I've been I've been I can, I can I'm trying to live right here, you know. Sir. Look at that. Yeah, he's got it. I got it. I got it. That's right. I don't know. I could not have it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You get it, that's all you. Yes, sir. All the way, yeah. Slow. Oh, my goodness, huh? God, my biceps are destroyed. Turn down this exposure. Bro, I was about to turn on a fucking drop in the picture, bro. Why? Um, because I just heard someone running at me. I don't know if I should take a progress photo yet. I think you should leave. I'm still fat. I'm gonna definitely leave. Why, bro? It's the whole point of progress. You never stop. It's the whole yeah. point. You want the bad pictures. That's what I'm talking So about. that whenever you you look good, it's a big difference. Yeah. And it, it makes you look that much better. Yeah. I thought you were done. Yeah. I got an flex in the mirror, though. I'm going over here. Yes, I'm going over here. I got up next, I got up next. I, I got, got next. I want the lighting. 
<laughs> That's how it is, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I am about to get my next meal and I'll talk about the arm workout. Man, those preacher curls were fantastic. I loved them. It was a fantastic finisher for arms. So I really like that. Definitely gonna stick with preacher curl for a, a while until it, uh, I guess until my body adapts to it and it doesn't hit the same. That's why I'm happy that I changed up my chest workout recently because I've been going heavy on flat bench for a while and chest just wasn't getting hit the same as usual because before doing flat bench, I was doing a lot of incline and now that flat bench is not hitting the same, I'm moving on to incline bench just because it's hitting the it's hitting the, the muscles differently. You know, your body kind of gets used to it. it. Like, especially if you stick with the same workout for a long period of time, your body's like, okay, I know first we're starting with flat bench, then we're going on to incline uh, fucking machines, some shit like that. So your body's gonna get used to it. Every once in a while, you gotta change it up. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I mean, arm day was fantastic. I really liked it. Pump was amazing. So, nothing to complain about. I'll see you at the next meal. All right, so I did not know that I had no meat defrosted, so I didn't have, I don't have anything to cook. <laughs> and we have no protein other than my protein powder and this thing of salami. So I'm just going, I hate that I'm having two protein shakes today because you know you should be eating your real food the uh and these pro protein companies lie about how much protein is in each of their products and like all they have to do to make the protein on paper be more is just add nitrogen to it so these companies will just add nitrogen to their products and on paper they have higher protein while in actuality it's not really so i try not to drink much of those. I try to only have one a day, but since I only have this and protein powder, unless I'm going to wait uh, the hours for meat to defrost, since I only have those, that's what I'm working with. So I'm going to have a protein shake, all that meat. I might have to do like three scoops of protein just to make sure that's like enough protein in there. So, and then oh, because I need more calories, I'm gonna have to have a bunch of bread or something. I'm gonna make sure I get my calories in. And the, the reason I need more calories is because it's a protein shake. There's like fucking no calories in that at all. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my calories in, my protein in. I guess it's not optimal, but what you gonna do? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for the arm day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for legs.